Hello everyone. We have started our journey to achieve Azure Solutions Architect certification. To achieve that milestone, we have several steps. Our very first step is Azure Fundamentals. Hi, my name is Harsh Angra, and we are going to learn in this video about what is Azure Fundamental Certifications, what are the skills needed, and what are the exam guidelines at, the, at this moment of COVID-19 situation from Microsoft. As well as I will also give you some more idea that what sort of uh, certification level we are going to cover. So uh, the purpose of uh, actually to start these series is to uh, share with you the easiest way to learn and gain all the knowledge you required to complete Azure certification and how you can leverage that all the knowledge in your real time jobs. So guys, let's begin with our journey and I will try to simplify as much as I can do for you guys. And please uh, try to share your questions as many as you want in the comments below. So let's begin. So to learn more about Azure Fundamental Certification, the very first thing you should know is it does not require any IT knowledge or experience. So if you are a fresher or you want to start your career in cloud computing or Microsoft Azure services, this is the right certification for you. In this particular certification, you will find just a conceptual knowledge about all the Azure services offered by Microsoft. Uh, to make you uh, consider or uh, to give you the brief idea, there are four major points it, uh, which is going to be covered in this certification. The very first one, cloud concept offered by Azure services. Number one. So in this one, it will give you some brief idea that what is uh, infrastructure as a service or IaaS, for example, what is software as a service or SaaS. Similarly, there are other concepts are also available, which is going to be discovered in this certification. Along with that, it will also give you some idea about, uh, for example, Azure Services, which is a core Azure Services. What is uh, VMs or Azure VMs, and what are Azure Backup Services? and sort of other uh, services again offered by Microsoft. Not only that, it will also cover uh, the pricing, uh, the, the cost management within Azure. For example, you are trying to deploy uh, for your organization. So how you can deploy your resources and how much does it cost? All of that concept is also going to be covered in this certification. And the final is, what is uh, the security offering by Microsoft in Azure services so that your workloads, your, your servers running in Azure are absolutely secure and running well? So as I said, it does not have much more in detail. It is just a conceptual knowledge uh, you can find. And once you achieve this certification, you will be very much clear that what services offered by Microsoft and how you're going to be use them in the future. And apart from that, you can also uh, consider that these services will definitely uh, uh, will separate into different certification. As you can see on the right hand side, I have shared some of the certification ideas. So for example, uh, like if we talk about our certification uh, trainings module, which are going to uh, start in a couple of uh, upcoming months. Uh, so the very first one after that, after this certification, we are going to start with a Microsoft Azure Associate certification because my domain is this, uh, this one specifically. So we will start with this thing. And also, if, if you are interested in, let's say, softwares or SQL and like, you know, my very much uh, interested in the in the software lines, then I think uh, this would be the right choice for you. Similarly, if you like cybersecurity, you are fond of uh, uh, securing uh, infrastructure, you are fond of uh, managing uh, enterprise security, uh, I think this would be the right certification for you after uh, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. The same way if you want to achieve the higher end certification, which will give you the brilliant knowledge about uh, the demonstration, the planning, the architecture, the deployment uh, of these services within Azure, uh, we will cover this one, Solutions Architect Expert, at the end of our series. And also, if you are in the software field, you can definitely should follow the Microsoft DevOps Engineers Expert. Uh, let me take you to the guidelines or Microsoft learning path so that you can also choose by your own and you can find out which certification is right for you. Microsoft has to offer certifications for each level. 
And of course, everybody who is already working in information technology field or interested in information technology field. So what they have done, they have actually created a role-based certification. So if I go or scroll down a little bit down, you can find these four options as an example. So if you are a developer, you just need to click on developer certification. You can find more knowledge that what sort of information you need to achieve more with Microsoft Azure certifications. Similarly, you can also find more information about administrator, solutions architect, functional consultant. So as an example, if you are an administrator, you're working in organization and you want to know what sort of uh, certification or knowledge you need to achieve more with the administrator certification. So once you click on administrator certification, it will uh, open actually this page and you can find out there are three different type of certifications offered by Microsoft. So in this our journey, we are going to uh, cover Microsoft Administrator Associate, which has more in-depth knowledge about core Azure services. So I'm not going to bore you about all the details. I think it would be right thing that you just go to this particular link and you can find more details about the Microsoft certifications. So one last thing before I leave in this page that, for example, uh, you are also want to, you already been working in Azure uh, administrator, you are uh, managing migration of your on-premises uh, uh, infrastructure to Azure, and you want to learn a little bit more or achieve more as a part of uh, Solutions Architect. So if you just simply click on Solutions Architect certification, you can find, you can browse more certification which has to be offered by Microsoft and actually believe me, these are really, really uh, very good. And of course it does require lots of knowledge and in-depth uh, practical knowledge about everything which we are going to cover step by step in upcoming days. Now we know which certification path is good for us and how we can leverage our knowledge to achieve more with Microsoft certification. So let's come back to our uh, ongoing uh, training module that's all about Microsoft Azure Fundamental Skills. Uh, so actually uh, to achieve this certification, we uh, must have knowledge about these four different parts. So the very first one is Azure Cloud Concept. Actually in this one, it will cover that mic what Microsoft has to offer and what sort of uh, services offered, for example, uh, software as a service or uh, platform as a service or infrastructure as a service. So we'll learn all about uh, the terms and offerings within this and it will cover 15 to 20% of this certification. Once you learn about the cloud concept, the next one is uh, the core Azure services. And it's, it's all about how you deploy uh, your infrastructure. For example, you have to deploy a virtual machine or you have to deploy uh, a SQL server with a specific database or you have a SAP HANA, how you can deploy that with Microsoft services or core services. That's all about in this particular area and it will cover around 30 to 35%. Now, once you know that how you can deploy all of your infrastructure services, the next one is about Azure security, privacy, compliance, and trust. It will cover uh, the most important part because uh, the very important thing is once you deploy your virtual machine in a cloud uh, environment, then everything is, uh, is uh, directly connected to internet. Now, you need to protect your workloads, you need to protect your servers and infrastructure. So, uh, you need you you will going to learn in in this my uh, in this particular area that what Microsoft has to offer to protect uh, your infrastructure. For example, Microsoft offers DDoS protection. Microsoft offered uh, antivirus or for example uh, uh, the protection or network security groups or application securities etc. Uh, lots of things uh, which will cover around twenty five to thirty percent. And the last one is about Azure pricing and support. Which means, for example, if uh, your organization, organization said, hey, um, I have $500 or $1,000 or $1,500, so you need to make a plan that how you can leverage all of your Microsoft Azure resources to, uh, uh, to make a best environment for your organization within that limit of area. And once your uh, services are deployed, how you can analyze, analyze which services using how much money. So all of that concept and how you can uh, uh, talk about the, the cost management actually will be covered in this particular area. So it is again covered around 25 to 30%. So guys, uh, once you have all of this knowledge, the next step is more, more important that 
what are the questions uh, or what sort of questions are coming into the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals certification. But before that, let's learn how you can book your examination right now, right from your, home, from your home. And also you can give your examination right sitting in your home or office area only. So let's try that and let's learn how we can do that. To book your exam with Microsoft, it's pretty simple. You just need to open any search engine, for example, Google or Bing, and type AZ-900 or Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Certification. It will take you to the very first page and then, or even like, you know, you can simply click on uh, or just go to this particular web address and scroll down a little bit here and click on Schedule with Pearson View. Now, once you click on this particular link, uh, it will ask you uh, to create a Outlook account if you have never booked your exam with the Pearson View directly. If you already have an account, it will ask you to type in your username and password and automatically come back to this particular link. Now here, uh, because once you create your account, it will ask you to give your details about your legal name, job title, address, uh, city, uh, of course, phone number, all these information. And once you are set, just click on save and continue. Now, uh, actually I'm the Microsoft employee, so uh, I have already associated my Microsoft official account with this ID, but you don't need to do that. You don't need to link any account. You simply click on go to PSN view. All right, guys, now uh, you have to choose the one right uh, place where you want to give your exam. I think and I bet uh, this is the COVID-19 situation because I'm recording uh, this on uh, 27th of March, which is a very uh, crucial time. Please, guys, please uh, stay at home, stay safe and take care of your health. Uh, so I think uh, the preferred way right now here is uh, to select at my home and office because I bet, uh, bet you there's no... Uh, certification centers open uh, these days actually so uh, but right if you choose uh, at my home and office there are a couple of uh, important information I would like to share with you number one if you choose this one click on pre-check because it will check your network your laptop your desktop whatever the configuration is there and uh, the important thing is you need to keep in your mind it does require one mbps of upload and download speed at least to give your exam. If you do not have and if you failed to check or pre-check, then you won't able to give your exam from your home. So remember that. Also, you can choose your office to give exam. That is also fine. Apart from that, you need to also keep in your mind there is no webcam uh, nearby you except your desktop or your laptop. Uh, uh, I mean, there's no other camera nearby you. There's no phones, uh, no tablets, no notebooks, pens, uh, tissue papers. Uh, watch anything like that you you uh, must not have these all in on things while you're giving your examination so they will ask you to check all these things and they will also ask you to show your your room or your office area wherever you are trying to give your exam so keep in your mind you are in a safe place so that they will confirm that everything is good and safe to give this exam because they are very much serious uh, about security while giving examination now, once you choose uh, at your home and office, you need to click next. Now, as usual, uh, we need to choose uh, all these license uh, or I mean, at least the information to accept their agreements. Once we are good to go, uh, we need to choose the language in which you would like to give exam. So I would like to choose English here and click next. Now, the next step is it will show you the total exam name, the policy, you can also review the policy if you want, the price, the language, and once you are all set and ready, just click next. Now, you need to choose which date would you prefer to give exam. And right after that, you need to select the time at what time you would like to give exam. Remember guys, I have already given this exam, so it won't allow me uh, to uh, to complete the transaction. But remember, after you click on any time, automatically it will take you to the next page where you need to place an order. Once you place an order, your exam will be booked and you will receive an uh, detailed uh, information how you can start your exam, how you can begin your exam. Only one important thing uh, keep in your mind that you need to be available at least 30 minutes earlier than your, than your exam. Now we know how we can book our exam with Microsoft.
The next question is that what kind of questions are coming in Microsoft Azure Fundamentals and how many are there? So actually, first thing is uh, there are around 20, 46 questions there and most of them are objective based. And uh, some questions are, uh, uh, you need to arrange the answers in the orders. And some are there with the screenshot where you, you need to choose the right option there in the screenshot. For example, if they said there's a PowerShell command, you need to run in the Azure portal, how you can do that or uh, how you can achieve that. This is just an example. So on that screenshot, you need to select Azure uh, Cloud Shell where you can uh, apply all of that commands or whatever the PowerShell way is available. So this is just an example. So similarly, you can find those questions there. And uh, uh, I think that to be uh, pretty much enough for Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification, just an overview. You need to understand that what certification is all about. But along with that, I would like to uh, share additional information which will 100% help you uh, to know more about this and of course, which will ease you to complete this certification. So if I simply go back to the same page which I showed you earlier to book your exam, if you scroll down a little bit, here's a schedule exam, but if you do a little bit down, uh, it will show you this option called skill measured. Uh, I would recommend everyone to download this exam skills outline, which will a PDF file, and it will show you all the details about the concept and at least the terms are gonna be used in these uh, different concepts within this certification. I found this handy and very uh, useful, so I recommend you to guys to uh, download that and at least go through once. Uh, now, if I go a little bit down below, you can find uh, that online trainings will be provided by Microsoft as well. If you click start, it will show you around 12 modules and each module has uh, around 8 to 10 uh, videos. Uh, if you follow those videos, uh, I'm sure it will be helpful, but it's not enough uh, to have a complete knowledge about this certification. So that's why they have shared uh, paid uh, instructor or I mean paid uh, online trainings uh, which I think it's not a good idea and I really don't want you guys spend money on that uh, if you follow my videos one by one and uh, regularly I'm pretty sure uh, and uh, kind of confident that you will be easily uh, pass your exam and you will have uh, strong knowledge about the concept and of course uh, whatever the skills required to do to the job so I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm i'm pretty much honored to share all this information with you guys and uh, all right let's let's cut that off and let's go a little bit down and you can find much more details about exam resources about training certification guidelines posters how the logos looks like or like badges look like similar like this so i think uh, it's fine if you really want to go through them but if you don't have time then just skip the, all this information now uh, apart from that i would uh, like to share with you another important link or information with you guys so the that one is about the covid 19 so guys microsoft uh, already aware that covid 19 is uh, you know getting a serious uh, uh, topic nowadays in each and every country so they would prefer to give exam from home or offices and uh, for that actually they have given instructions that how you can uh, prepare yourself for COVID-19 situation and how you can still give your examination with Microsoft. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm not going to bore you again for all these details but it would be good if you simply go to this link and try to find as much as information you can uh, uh, just for your, uh, your own safety and uh, for your own help. And uh, in the last link, I would like to share that Microsoft has recently uh, launched this link. And this particular, uh, uh, the, the website has uh, information about learning guidelines, about the technology, about the videos for different technology. For example, Azure Fundamentals, Power BI 365, you can learn a bunch of things with Microsoft, but these all are free videos and free modules, uh, which you can which can give you basic ideas, but don't think it will uh, give you the uh, very much in detail or in depth knowledge about each and every concept. Uh, so guys, that to be all for today, and I think uh, you find this uh, uh, specific video helpful. And uh, till then, or next till next video uh, take care of yourself and protect your family and protect yourself peace